Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Janirga and this is Riga Life. <coughs> All right, excuse me. So I promised you that I will show you the new yarn that I get that I got as soon as I get my complete order, and I just got my package in the mail. Unfortunately, the box is open. Um, I'd say three quarters of the box is open, but I'm really hoping that everything is packed in plastic and nothing is missing. So without further ado, um, all of the yarn that I'm going to be sharing with you today is from Joanne. And I told you before that they were having a sale on Mandela yarn. So I think almost every single yarn I'm going to show you today is a line brand Mandela yarn. Let me just carefully open the rest of the box here. I'm going to have to complain to Joanne about how they packed my order because the box is open. That's the first time I've gotten a package where the box, well, no, probably the second time, but not from, not with card. Okay. So, uh, in May or June of this year, uh, Lion Brand came out with a new yarn called Mandela Gradient Yarn, and I purchased that in, I think, seven colors. <laughs> and then they had, sorry, they had their other yarns um, in the Mandela family on sale as well. So, let me just show you the Mandela Gradient Yarns first. Let me just get those up here, and then I'll be right back. All right, I am back and I've kind of set up things so that I can share it with you uh, properly. So I will tell you about the Mandela Gradient Yarns. I bought it in seven colors. One of them is still in my bin. It's the yellow color. I am not opening that because that's in a pack of three and I'm not ready to open it yet. So that is a yellow color. Um, it's like a nice soft yellow. Okay. Let's leave that one and I need to turn on my light. It's a little dark in here right now. Okay, that's that's not better. Let me turn on my actual light. One second. That's better. Okay. So, um, where do I start? <laughs> I'll just start with, with what I have here. So, I ordered the Mandala Gradient Yarn. This is the color purple or mauve. Oh my gosh, it is really, really beautiful yarn. So I'll read you the specs of the yarn. So Mandela Gradient Yarn is 5.29 ounces or 150 grams. It's 295 yards or 270 meters, machine washable and dryable, 90% acrylic, 10% nylon, and it is a medium four weight, recommends an eye 5.5 millimeter hook. I'm not happy with my lighting. That's better. Okay. So this is the color purple. It feels really good to me. It feels nice and soft. And it does feel like a four weight. I'm just trying to. Here we go. It does feel like a four weight. It's definitely not a three weight. It's a pretty good four weight here. So that is the Mandala Gradient in purple. Then I bought it in light pink. Oh my gosh, this one is so dreamy. It's like, I don't know. It almost feels like a peach color in the middle. And then it becomes into this, it says light pink, but it almost feels like a hot pink to me. So that's that second color. Those are the first two colors. Then I bought it in the color red. So it starts off with like a, a very light coral red and goes into a deep red. That's red. Then we have the color sea green and of course that is kind of like a light mint green going into a different type of green so on the screen it almost looks teal but it's more forest green the color is getting a little bit distorted it, that's kind of more what it looks like okay the next color i got is hot pink that's really really pretty and this is a nice hot pink I'm so excited to use these. The next color I have is Aqua. Look at that. That's almost, it's a little bit different than what you're seeing, but that's Aqua. Okay, and then I got the yellow. 
So I got seven different colors and I think I got all of them three of each color, at least three of each color. So it was 295 yards, which is about 300 yards. I wanted to be able to have um, three cakes of each. I do not know yet what I'm going to make with this, but I had to buy it because I was just very, very excited about this since May or June of this year when it was released. So now I finally have them <laughs> so these are my babies these are these ones feel more precious to me because I just got them and I've never had them before versus some of the um, other Mandela yarns I'm going to show you I have had before so let me put these on the side and I'm going to show you what else I got I got quite a few yarns in this haul I completely was not planning on buying any more yarn right now, but all of this yarn went on sale. So all of these Mandela yarns I'm showing you were originally $8.99, $9.99, something in that price range at Joann's. They were all on sale for $4.99. And because I bought them in bulk, it went down from $4.99 to about $4.74 or $4.72. Um, yeah. I will not find that price anywhere else, so I decided I'm going to buy my colors. Okay, the next yarn I'm going to show you is the regular Mandela yarn. And that yarn I have bought in one, two, three, four colors. So, I've had this color before. This is Niffler's. That's the colorway. And this is the Lime Brand Mandela yarn. So. This yarn is 590 yards or 540 meters, 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, machine washable and dryable. This is 100% acrylic. It is a light three weight, so it's different than the Mandela gradient with a worsted weight, but this is a three weight, a DK weight, and it recommends an H5 millimeter hook. So again, that color is Niffler's, and it has um, green, yellow, some orange, purple, and blue. I got Nifflers in, I think, the Mandela Sparkle before. That's the only Nifflers I've used. So I bought one pack of that because it comes in a pack of three. So I bought Nifflers. And then I bought Mandela in Troll. And that's what Troll looks like. These are really deep, vibrant, saturated colors. There's a deep purple goes into a pinky purple, a green, and then two shades of blue. So that's Troll. And let me just see if I can pull out the yarn to show you. So this is a light three weight. That's the three weight compared to the worsted weight that I just showed you of the gradient. So I got four balls of this. This is Troll. Um, I have an earlier video where I made a corner to corner using Troll and I held two together. So let me just see if these are the same lot number. 923. Okay, so these three are the same lot number and this one is different. So hopefully I can um, hold two together. I'm just trying to see if that's going to be possible. Maybe these two, I think these two, I'll be able to hold two together because when I held two together and made a corner to corner, it was so squishy and it had such an amazing texture. It was so uh, wonderful to see it being worked up and then to hold it. It just felt amazing with the corner to corner pattern. So I might be doing something similar again. I'm not sure, but I really did love this color of Mandela. So I bought four balls of it. Okay. Then I tried out a new to me color and this is one of their newer colors called Kraken K-R-A-K-E-N it has all the same stats and that's what it looks like so it has uh, blues greens yellow and other blues and I got this specifically for making baby boy blankets because I'm severely lacking in boy colors I always get very girly colors so I made it a point to purchase this and then I will be making baby boy things out of this so that's that color and there's one more new color that I got okay 
Okay, so the last one that I got is a new color called Andorian. And that is what it looks like. It is beautiful. So it has this really bright orange. It has purples, pinks, red. It's really, really happening. So this is what these three look like. And I'm guessing these three are the same lot number and the one in my hand might not be. Let me just check. Nope, they're all the same lot number, which is really nice. So hopefully I can hold, yep, I can hold these two together and work it up so if you have um before I get too far along if you have ideas for the mandala gradient yarn and you've made things let me know what you made if you have made things with the andorian colorway or the kraken colorway of the regular mandala let me know I would love to know what you've made with these yarns okay so that's it for the gradient yarn and that's it for the regular mandala and then one of my other favorite mandala yarns is the mandala ombre yarn and i decided to buy some of that as well so i bought that in two colors that i have not used yet i've used many of the colors of the mandala ombre but i had not used these two so i purchased this is mm, yeah, Mantra. So M-A-N-T-R-A. This is the color Mantra. And I bought five of them. Okay. Let's just, I don't even think I'll be able to see the lot number. 67. 65. So these two are the same lot number. I don't know why this is open. Oh, okay, because they took one out. Uh, they were in packs of three, but I, I only ordered five. So that's, they opened one and took one out. Um, this is Lion Brand Mandala Ombre, so this has its own stats, that's what it looks like up close. It's really beautiful blues and greens and it gives kind of a stonewashed look because it has that white throughout. So Lion Brand Mandala Ombre is 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 344 yards or 315 meters machine washable and dryable just as the rest of the mandalas it is 100% acrylic made in India it's a medium four weight recommends an I 5.5 millimeter hook and it's the color mantra so it shows you here on the label how it works up that's some of the info on the yarn and that's what it looks like in the front mandala ombre so I did get five of these and again I chose a color that I had never used before and I chose a color that is more I guess you could say unisex or just not geared towards little girls who like red and pink and purple. So um, I got five of this color. I'm just trying to see if I, I will be able to get this back in here now of course. Uh, okay so let's just put that on the side for a second. So I got that color and then I got one last color. This is another Lion Brand Mandela Ombre that I, have, I don't think I've ever used it. And this is the color Tranquil. Okay, this color is gorgeous. There's another color called Happy, which is similar to this, but the Happy colors are very bright. And this tranquil colors are more pastel so they're a little bit more muted um, this yarn is just amazing I love mandala ombre so I've made a blanket for my daughter in mandala ombre in serene and serene has pinks and oranges so I made her that I've made a large blanket that's in my media room um, with mandala ombre in pure and pure has blues and pinks and I do have a picture of that but I don't know if I can find it right now if I do I'll pop it in here otherwise um, I've shared that in an earlier video I have what used what other color I've used pure also to make two hexagon cardigans for my daughter's teachers last year so I separated the blue and pink and I made one all blue, one all pink. So I've done that. Um, I'm trying to think what other colors I've used. So I've used Happy and I made a blanket for my nieces. 
So that's what, three projects. And then what else did I use it for? Yeah, so that large one that's in my media room is actually a um, V cluster stitch or a double, it's a V stitch or a V cluster stitch, something like that. And I really enjoyed that pattern. So I'm actually thinking that um, for these ones, I might just continue, like use that same pattern and do it um, because I really enjoyed that pattern and it worked really well with this type of yarn. So I'm going to find that pattern. I did find it on YouTube and I'm going to link it down below this video so that you can see that one. And um, if I have uh, a picture of that blanket, I will share it somehow with you. So that is all the yarn that I got. <laughs> oh my God. That's a lot of yarn. Okay, and there's even more because the rest of them are in this bin, the rest of the Mandela gradients because I bought three of seven colors. So that's 21 balls plus all of this. So now I need to find some space to put them all in. Um, but that is the least of my worries. I'm very, very excited. I think now I should say that I'm on a yarn ban for the rest of the year. So September, October, November, December, no more buying yarn. I have plenty of yarn, I have plenty of projects in mind, I have a few crochet alongs that I am uh, currently doing and that I want to start. Um, if you've done any crochet alongs or you're part of any right now, let me know what they are. Uh, there's actually a group on Facebook called Crochet Along, C-A-L, and in there they have a monthly calendar and they actually post different crochet alongs that are in progress and starting soon so I always go back to that group just to see what's happening I find it to be a really good source of information so I definitely recommend for you to check that out um, if you've used any of the yarns that I've shown today if you've used any gradient yarns Mandela ombre yarns regular Mandela yarns any of the new colors let me know what you've made I would love to know and if you'd like to send me pictures, you can definitely do that. My email address is in every video. It's rikalife11 at gmail.com. So you can shoot me an email and send me a picture of what you've made. I love seeing what you guys have made. You just Everyone makes such wonderful things. And in case you didn't see this beauty from last time, this is my not-so-new mandala, but my one of my favorite mandalas and I decided to put it up here because the other one fell down. So I just put this directly on the wall. I didn't mount it on anything. I've just used thumbtacks and I've just put it up on the wall and it's sitting nicely. And now I have all this beautifulness to share with you. So I'm going to keep today's video short. I will be coming back next week with uh, hopefully more whips and more finished objects to share with you. I just gave um, probably close to 15 shawls to be donated to the hospital and I also gave a baby boy blanket with hat and mitts to be given as a gift. So I am looking forward to seeing um, pictures of those and just, just hearing how happy that might have made someone and how it might have made their day. So super excited about that. I'm going to be working on more hats for my November market and I'm just always on the lookout um, for things that I can participate in and you know um, just raise some more money so that I can continue to donate things so thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed it as always I hope you have a wonderful crochetful day and I'll see you again soon bye